Well, here's a little blue. Hi, welcome to Syrup Shots Gaming. I'm Tyler, and with me as always is Dave. Hey, everybody. And we are going to be live. I'm oh, sorry, go ahead, Dave. Let's be talking Nintendo. Let's be talking yeah. Nintendo. We, we, we finally going to get that uh, that uh, Kratos' DLC for Smash Bros? Oh, mm -hmm. if only. <laughs> Hopefully that they would do more justice to him than PlayStation All-Stars did. <laughs> Because he was the most broken character in that game. I thought the whole game was broken, but... <laughs> oh, it kind of is, but if you were going to play it and you wanted to play as a character who could win, Kratos was your guy. Because... Whereas, you know how they had to have that mechanic where Super Move is the only way to earn points and uh, uh, mm -hmm. get kills in that game? He had the yeah. most direct ones where it's just like massive sword slash, you know, and then, oh, that one, whoever's in front of you is dead. OK, some had these, you know, kind of more out there ones, which would work well as like final smash attacks. But in trying to rack up kills, no, they're, they're great for bothering your opponent. Uh, pardon me, I'm trying to get my morning wake-up juice in. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, and, and guys, I apologize if I'm not fully invested in this one here. Uh, I am working while doing this, so. Uh, so don't tell his, don't tell his employer AT and T. <laughs> yeah, AT and T can burn in a dumpster fire. Oh wait, they've already done that. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> And honestly, I, I've just got this in the background while I'm working, so I got gotcha. you. So Luckily, you know, we can talk and yeah, do stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually just... working on something as well. I've got my big Donkey Kong collage. This is all cut up magazine. <laughs> nice. So yeah, yeah. I, this is the third one I've done. I have a giant Mario, a giant Samus, and I was going to do this one as Link, but then as I started drawing it, I'm like, hey, I want to do Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh. oh, excuse me. Oh. What if I don't want to? Oh, well, You are not excused. Darn. Oh. You will burn in the fiery pits of Mordor. Whoa. <laughs> well, at least it's Mordor, I mean. Yeah. I could probably pass for an Urukai if I tried really hard. <laughs> okay, uh find the smelliest hole, roll around in it for a day, and then grab a rusty weapon. <laughs> All right, we're good. <laughs> Are we talking about Mordor or the slums of China? Oh, oh. Ouch. Uh <laughs> I I people are good. The Chinese government I, I am gonna take a stand saying uh, not the best in human rights or anything good globally. Oh trust me, I know. Um my sister in law uh like her first big lawyer job was actually working for a firm that specialized in helping uh, Chinese immigrants find asylum in the United States. And so... Uh, That's nice. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. The boss was apparently kind of a, a, a chode manslington, but uh, so she did eventually leave that job. But uh, all she had to say was just, you know, China, China is hell. You know, they put on like a good public front by showing you know like the nice places and like movies and stuff because mm -hmm. you know now that they have so much money they're funding a lot of like american movies and getting american actors in chinese films <laughs> you know like oh, matt here, damon oh hello here, here we go <laughs> okay what we starting off with i'm gonna guess it's gonna smash bro announcement bunch of stuff smash bro whoa hello <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. 
I'm Shin Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hello, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide as well. The Nintendo Switch system is now in its fifth year, and many people around the world are playing games on it. Nintendo Switch is being enjoyed by a wide range of players spanning all ages and all levels of gaming experience. It's really been fun. I thank you all very much. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it, does it? We've been able to offer a wide variety of games on the system, not just from Nintendo, but also from our many development and publishing partners. I hope that each of you watching this Nintendo Direct will be able to find a game that suits your personal tastes. Today, we have news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, me. and we'll be focusing on a selection of games releasing <laughs> this year. Daddy. We hope you enjoy it. Okay, to begin, please take a look at this video. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, this is totally Smash Bros. Oh, it looks like it. Ganondorf? Wow. Wait, who's carrying Oh, it's Heihachi! It's one of the Tekkens! I didn't this is I say it was gonna be Heihachi? If, uh, it's Heihachi. Oh, that's hysterical. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's wait. Get ready for the next battle. That's Heihachi's son. Oh. Unless it's both him and Heihachi. Oh. Oh. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm awful. I told you Namco needed another character. You were right. But as soon as I saw the volcano, because that is the thing that the Mishimas do to each other in like every Tekken ending they have. He's <laughs> 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 just, just throwing them all in the volcano! <laughs> yep! <laughs> you too! <laughs> He's got uh, the Devil Gym transforming. Yeah, his, uh... The Devil transforming. Transform. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, the stage looks awesome. Hey, Hachi! Oh, oh, he's a bad guy character. Uh, That's okay. Wins. I ain't mad at that. No, I'm not. Oh, no! <laughs> 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 He's gonna float back up. Please do. Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited and the director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. Kazuya Mishima from the fighting game series Tekken will join the battle. Surprise! I'll go over the details at a later date, so please sit tight. For today, though, we've prepared a short video to showcase Kazuya's moves in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Please take a look. I ain't even mad. I, I... I was expecting Heihachi, but this is fine. Yeah. yeah. Technically, Heihachi is the villain, and this is the main character, right? Uh. You yeah. know, I'm not as up on Tekken as Chris. So. But you might be right. But I did know Heihachi was the main villain. Or. It's his father. <laughs> In some games. Well, I felt Namco deserved another game. I mean, they're developing the dumb game. Dumb game, not dumb game. The darn game. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this feels like Tekken. No, it's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's uh, I'll talk no about Tekken the fighter more on in a future Nintendo, presentation. Right? No, we still have to record the, it first, actually. Uh, a couple of the tag tournaments. The air date uh, okay. is shown below. Remember Please on the... Tuned. We played the Wii U version. Uh, oh, that's right. 
and it had all Thank the you, Mario and Nintendo character costumes. <laughs> New fighter Kazuya will join the fight in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Please look forward to seeing how Kazuya, who has experienced many harsh battles across the Tekken series, will fight in this game. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Your choices matter in these emotional, supernatural tales. Well, you had me at supernatural. Whoa. Um, Life is Strange? Yeah, those are the Life is Strange characters. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, they look good. Gameplay footage not final. <laughs> so possibly doctored by Square Enix. <laughs> Life is Strange True Colors launches on Nintendo Switch September 10th. And Life is Strange Remastered Collection comes to Nintendo Switch later this year. There's something for everyone on the Nintendo Switch system. You are Star Lord, really? leading a oh. legendary band of heroes for hire in this thrilling action adventure How? game. Jump on a wild ride across the cosmos, overwhelm opponents with Star Lord's daring combat style, and encounter iconic and original Marvel characters. You'll call the shots for the unpredictable guardians as you face cosmic threats to save the galaxy. You got this, probably. <laughs> Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy blasts onto Nintendo Switch October 26th. Worms wow. everywhere. Worms. <laughs> In this real-time arena-based shooter, you'll squish your oh, invertebrate really opponents in 32 it up. player cross-platform combat, play in daily challenges, battle modes, oh, it looks and seasonal like events to worm game. your way up the ranks. Play that. Plus, yeah. the patchwork bear out uh, it was like a, the Nintendo Switch version will be available for free for two this. weeks after the launch. Duck game a new by map, Space Force games. Showdown, launches with Worms okay. Rumble, wriggling onto Nintendo Switch June 23rd. Get a 25% discount when you pre-order the game starting today on Nintendo eShop. The fantastical realm of Orc Cannon awaits. As you explore this fully hand-painted world, you'll customize a team of demigods and unleash devastating attacks and captivating turn-based oh, combat. Pretty. Yeah. Astria Ascending launches on Nintendo Switch September 30th. Return to the funny, charming, and quirky world of Two Point County. I think this County. is like the third or fourth the time this game has been shown in Two Point Campus. You'll build and run your very own seen. university the way you want it. Lots of creative tools. Why would I care about building a school, school? Yours and take your educational empire to I the work next level. One for my Enrollment for Two Point job. Campus starts on Nintendo Switch next year. I don't want to play and work the game. <laughs> A beloved series rolls into its 20th anniversary this year. I saw bananas. Uh, oh, Super Monkey Ball. They're all going to be in one collection for the Switch. Anime. Oh my gosh, you're right. Go bananas! When Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania rolls onto Nintendo Switch October 5th. Wow. 
It's a blast from parties past, and you're invited. Oh, like a best Ready of Mario Party? Ready for another round of Mario Party Mayhem? Of course you are. It's a superstar collection of Mario Party boards and minigames. Live it up on five classic boards from the Nintendo 64 era, including oh, wow. Peach's Birthday Cake and Space Land. Each board is packed with zany events guaranteed to keep you on your toes. And when we say zany, we mean it. Jump. Connect blocks. And give oh. facelifts? In hilarious over-the-top minigames. All of which support button controls. With 100 my, minigames from the Mario Party the series catalog, the palm of my you'll hand have a blast in this all-star fun fest. Here's a little party favor. All game modes work with online play. Oh, wow. Even if you're partying solo, you can randomly match with other party goers worldwide. Playing a board game online with friends? Save your progress mid-game, grab a snack, then resume the festivities. Stickers are also available to communicate with others. It's time to party in Mario Party Superstars, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. What did you think? Before we show this next trailer, I'd like to say one thing. Currently, we're working hard on the latest game in the Metroid Prime series, Metroid Prime 4, which we previously announced. But today, we'd like to introduce another new entry in the Metroid franchise. Hey, uh, what am I? Take a look. Yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What do we remake? Super or Fusion? Ooh. Metroid 5! Well, I guess this is the new suit what? after the fusion suit. This is this is what we wanted. Yep. Oh no! No! <gasps> oh! It's finally it's real. It's real. It's finally real. Wow! Look at those backgrounds. Oh, that was like a stealth. Oh, we got some actual aliens. This year? Come on, give us a date. Come on. Yes! Bam! Christmas. <laughs> that was the trailer for the first new 2D Metroid game in roughly 19 years, the brand new Metroid Dread game. As the name Dread implies, this is a Metroid game with a new feel showcasing a variety of threats that Samus will encounter. It's scheduled to be released on October 8th, so it won't be too long until launch. On that same day, we'll also be releasing amiibo figures for Samus and the Emmy, the robot seen in the video. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. There you go, Dave. More amiibo. These familiar Feed franchises my are back on Nintendo Switch. If it's familiar franchise. Get ready to get down in the latest Just Dance game. Oh, 
Are they gonna have the, uh, the Mario tracks? Just Dance 2022, launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Hello. The arcade oh, is in Blast and Blast is speeding oh, 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 onto Nintendo wow. Switch. Blast your way through nearly 30 I wonder if Nintendo a unicorn. Up to four players can race together. So I wonder if Nintendo bought the franchise because the they co-developed it midway back in the day. Cruisin' Blast launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this fall. It's the ultimate Dragon Ball Z experience. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? Yep. Relive the story of Goku um, and other Z fighters through four looks like sagas the DLC in this action included. RPG. Saiyan, protect the Earth from an invasion by Vegeta and Nappa. Frieza, take a stand against the evil Emperor. Cell, battle the androids in a fight to the death. Majin Buu, an epic showdown with the most fearsome foe. Along with the main story, you can explore the vast world of Dragon Ball Z. Hey, why not help out the locals? Or collect ingredients for delicious meals. You could always train to acquire new skills, too. There are lots of things to keep you busy. No garlic the junior boss battle saga? Episodes, a new power awakens parts Hard one and two pass. is also included. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot plus a new power awakens set punches its way onto Nintendo Switch September 24th. Grab a oh, golf geez. club and get ready to tee off. <laughs> I, I like the Mario Golf games, but they are never the been. The Mario Golf Must Super Rush game me. launches soon. Right. Here's a quick glimpse into each of the modes. Standard golf. Take your time to read the wind and terrain on the greens. Yes, I know how golf works. Hit different types of shots and aim for under par. Nice birdie. Speed golf. Smack your ball, then chase after it. Be the first to get your ball in the hole. Outpace your rivals with special okay, dashes and special funny. shots. <laughs> Whoa! Colleen. Yeah. Battle golf. Battle golf! You get out over nine flag marked holes in an obstacle filled arena. Capture three flags to win. Golf adventure. Go from rookie to pro with your me character. The golfing oh. challenges that await may It's kind of like the old Game Boy. Wait, is that Moltres? <laughs> and here's some news. Free updates are planned for future release, including additional courses and playable characters. The fairway's almost open, so set your tee time and get ready to ace those shots oh, King Baba. in Mario Golf Super Rush, swinging onto the Nintendo Switch system June 25th. Pre-orders oh, wow. are available now on That's Nintendo eShop. 10 days away. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ready for oh. the ride of a lifetime? Monster, Monster Hunter Stories. I don't welcome need to, to see this again. Vibrant world yeah, of we've got like Hunter. 20 more minutes, you know. You oh, Nurki Gante. As a rider in this RPG Hello, adventure, moon. you'll explore diverse landscapes by riding your Monstie, a monster Tigris. companion. Nargakuga. Gather materials such as honey and ore, then use them to craft items for your journey. But beware of the many monsters roaming about. Some are docile, but pretty. others may suddenly ambush you. To fight, you'll team up with your monstie and use weapons and skills to overwhelm enemy monsters in turn-based battles. Win, so and you'll be rewarded with mm -hmm. their materials, which can be forged into new weapons and armor. Hey, is that an egg? You might be able to hatch a new monstie. Incredibly powerful monsties can also hatch from rare eggs. Need more traveling buddies? Okay, where's the uh, for co -op Breath of the Wild uh, crossover DLC? Because the art style is be a real very of familiar. An adventure. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin soars onto Nintendo Switch July 9th. You can play the free demo on June 25th and carry over your save data to the full game. Here's a new game from the head of the Oh, a company. new WarioWare. <laughs> Did you miss me? Hey, what do you mean? Who am I? It's a me, Wario. And it's a finally ready, a brand new game from my company. Check it out. You get to control me. Time to do this. <laughs> 
Look at me go. Black rats. Check out these chumps. They came back, and they have wonderful new talents. Throw that stick thing. Mm, not the bad. Use the spinny, whatchamacallit. Ha! Nailed it! Same micro game, different abilities. Huh. Wow! Oh. I almost forgot some big news. Two people can play together at the same time. So play nice, or else. <laughs> hey, not nice. All right, you. Yes, you. The one watching oh, that this. Looks Better get ready for weird some in all the level game play mayhem. ways I love. <laughs> The WarioWare Get It Together game launches exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system September 10th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. What you just saw was the trailer for WarioWare Get It Together. In the latest installment of this series, there are new microgames that let you control Wario and his friends. There is also a two-player co-op mode which greatly expands the gameplay. It's releasing in the near future, so stay tuned. Next, please take a look at this. Shin Megami Tensei. As a high school student living in Tokyo, your life is fairly normal. But that reality is upended after you get pulled into a different dimension. Another Tokyo exists, a post-apocalyptic world where angels and demons reside. Suddenly, you fuse with a mysterious figure, gaining the power to fight demons. What lies ahead in this alternate realm? <laughs> the world is now transformed into a sprawling, demon-infested wasteland. Though friendly demons do exist here, many are hostile and will attempt to destroy you. Harness your newfound powers to fight demons using a command-based system. Finding their weak point is key. By targeting it, the number of consecutive actions you can perform in a combo will increase. Though demons are formidable opponents, <laughs> you may be able to recruit them via negotiations, Sorry about that. which begin when you open oh, a good. conversation with them. Shin Megami Tensei 5. Oh, okay. Is that all I missed? The opening yeah. of it? Yeah. Okay. No, my computer literally if like froze and was making a horrible a demon noise. demon will become a oh, powerful good. ally. It was literally... In some cases, by rejecting a demon's request, they may feel motivated and join you as an ally. Demons that do join will fight alongside you and grow stronger. By fusing demon allies, another demon can be created. The newly fused yeah, demon them first, like persona. will vary. Yeah, a bunch of fundamentalist Christian parents everywhere. Customized to your needs and play <laughs> style. <laughs> demon! Yes, demon. Challenge the many demons roaming this post-apocalyptic world by harnessing the power of your own. What destiny will you choose? Shin Megami Tensei 5 will launch exclusively on Nintendo Switch November 12th. Oh, oh wow. Pre orders for the physical version oh begin June 21st. You know, it was only announced when the Switch was announced, so. Mm -hmm. That was the latest trailer for Shin Megami Tensei 5 from Atlas. This is the newest game in the series. Please look forward to future updates. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Celebrate 10 years of Danganronpa in despair. Oh, that's how you say that. Ahem, ahem, check 
testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. <laughs> Three games in the deadly Rampa series are coming to Nintendo Switch. I am this school. Monokuma, the self-proclaimed school headmaster, has trapped you and other high school students in a game of literal life and death. Unfortunately, the only way out of the school and this lethal game is to betray the other students. And so it begins. A body has been discovered! When a student meets their demise, a class trial will take place to reveal the culprit. You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? Tony, I had no idea. They probably moved the body there. Use the evidence you've gathered to refute contradictions and find the guilty party. Sneak attack. No, walk. Are you okay? Plus, the board game from Rampa V3 Killing Harmony has been expanded into a standalone game. Rampa S Ultimate Summer Camp, an all-star cast of characters from the Rampa series will come together to battle at a tropical resort. Who's the strongest of them all in this hey. ultimate beach brawl? The four-game collection Rampa Decadence launches as a physical exclusive on Nintendo Switch later this year. All four games will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. Wow. Really? We hope you're wow. not afraid of ghosts. Wait, which one? This was the... Or it might be the, uh, uh, the Wii U one. In this horror adventure game, you'll uncover the mysteries surrounding the ethereal but deadly Mount Hikami believed to be at the center of many disappearances. Ghosts frequent this mountain. Give me Your physical. Only defense Give me is a, a physical camera that can repel and cast them out. Face your fears as you explore a variety of unsettling locations. This spine-chilling story features various protagonists, letting you experience the game from different perspectives. New costumes and photo modes are included in this version. Can you investigate Mount Hikami? And stay alive. Fatal Frame, Maiden of Black Water, creeps onto Nintendo Switch this year. These games and DLC are coming soon. Some even today. <laughs> Your war is not over. Raise hell in the first campaign expansion for Doom Eternal, The Ancient Gods Part 1. Deeper and more challenging combat awaits as you eliminate Hell's newest threats in demon-infested ruins and rain-swept terrain. The fate of the cosmos is in your hands. Get slaying when this campaign expansion launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Get ramped up for two iconic oh. skateboarding games fully remastered in HD. Skate to era defining jams by the legendary Tony Hawk and a <laughs> roster of new and returning pros. Take your sessions on the go with all the original game modes and compete locally or online to show off your tricks against other skaters. Drop into Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, launching on Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Hmm. After 4,000 years, Sateki, the Witch Queen, has risen from the dead and only one group of heroes can stop her. The Strange Brigade. In this thrilling adventure, you'll blast through an army of mummified monstrosities while solving puzzles in booby-trapped dungeons. Go it alone or team up with other daring adventurers in local wireless co-op and online play. Hmm. Expect the unexpected when Strange Brigade launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Okay. It's a new adventure of cosmic proportions. Oh, come on, we got 10 minutes left. Mario and yeah. his friends will team up with the Rabbids once again to restore order to the galaxy. Our heroes must stop a mysterious new evil from plunging the universe into chaos. 
Rabbit Rosalina joins I don't know about them. you, but thus Wait, far, I'm not. Wait, already? Like, Explore blown out of the water with this presentation. With quirky residents and even quirkier uh, secrets. There's been some nice stuff, but yeah. And in this fresh take on the tactical be, like, genre, oh, won or our heroes can run freely right. around the battlefield, creating Metroid new strategic nice, and though. chaotic possibilities. Oh, 100%. So mm -hmm. aim for victory with a little help from your friends. Wait, who's that? Yes, who is that? Well, one thing's certain. This is gonna be one heck of a galactic adventure. Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope launches into space or onto Nintendo Switch next year. A new Advance Wars? Advance Wars. Holy crap. Let's go! <laughs> Oh, oh wait. it's the oh, original! It's a remake! You know, I'll take it. I will too! <clears throat> really? Oh, the animation looks really nice. You know what? This opens the doors again for the uh for uh them to come into Smash Bros. Playing this in high school and memorable on, like, characters Game Boy and vibrant gameplay are in store as you lead the commanding officers to victory. Voice acting? Voice acting? Play the Voice first acting? two Advance Wars Ooh, campaigns wow. in Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Marching on to Nintendo Switch this yeah. holiday. Nice. Let's begin today on Nintendo eShop. How is everything? All right. This next segment will be our last announcement of the day. No. Please take a look. The pro. Oh. Oh. Really? This is your last announcement? Yeah. This is your last hurrah? I would have saved Metroid for this. Mm hmm. <laughs> you get to. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Yeah. I think I might wait to play this game once all the DLC. Uh, I'm gonna wait to play this game until the Switch Pro comes out, so I don't have you know uh, dips in frame rate. Oh, nice. Hello there, I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you've just seen is a trailer for the first wave of DLC for the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity expansion pass from Koei Tecmo Games. It will follow Link and his allies through more battles that took place 100 years prior to the events of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope you'll look forward to it. I have a few more things to share with you all today. We'll begin with the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD game, which launches next month. Mm -hmm. You'll immerse yourself in the role of Link by using two Joy-Con controllers for intuitive motion controls, or by playing in handheld mode, wielding the sword via flicking the stick and button-only controls. This game depicts the oldest era in the Legend of Zelda series, the story of how it all began. What is the origin of the Master Sword? Why did a woman named Zelda become the legend for future generations? These will all be unraveled in this game. We hope you're looking forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Next up. Okay. Here's a little something you might like. This is a Game & Watch system that lets you play three games in the Legend of Zelda series. Three! This year, the original Legend of Zelda game reaches its 35th anniversary. While we don't have any campaigns or other Nintendo Switch games planned, we've been working on this Game & Watch system as a special item to help mark the occasion and reflect fondly on the earliest days of the Legend of Zelda. 
It will come yeah, with really the first game in the series, The Legend of Zelda. Adventures of Link. Zelda 2, mm. The Adventure of game Link. Game Boy. Yep. And the mm. Game Boy version of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening game. But not the color version? As well as a special version of the Game & Watch title Vermin, starring Link as the playable character. So that's four games on one system, from longer Legend of Zelda games to the pick-up-and-play game Vermin. I want it. In addition, regarding the watch functionality for the Game & Watch system, we've added a playable clock based on the Legend of Zelda, and an interactive timer themed after Zelda II The Adventure of Link. You can play with both of them by taking control of Link. We hope you'll enjoy playing this oh, nice. Game & Watch system whenever and wherever you'd like. All right, here's the last thing we have to show you. This is the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay. Two years have passed since we first announced this game, and we've been unable to share anything with you in that time. However, development has been steadily progressing. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Please take a look. Like his hand got corrupted. Release date 2022. Okay. Mm -hmm. Authentic title for it? Mm. So, what did you think? This time around, the setting for the adventure has been expanded to include the skies above Hyrule. We'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer. We're aiming for a 2022 release, so I hope you'll look forward to it. How was that? That's all for this Nintendo Direct. We are diligently continuing development on a number of other games we didn't show today. I hope you'll continue looking forward to what's in store on Nintendo Switch. Thank you for watching. Really? Yeah. It's kind of how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> And they must have been hit hard by the pandemic. Yeah. I mean, it was nothing. Hi, everyone. I'm Doug Bowser uh, from Nintendo this is of the, America. Uh, Treehouse. And yeah. yeah, we can stop this. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I was just hoping for like a regular kind of E3, but, you know, no company has really given us that this year. I would say the closest has been Microsoft. Yeah. I was, but even I, then, I was actually pretty uh, impressed with theirs. Hmm. Huh. I mean, I was talking with some people in GameStop yesterday, and I know they were all excited, like, "Oh, the Zelda announcements for tomorrow." I'm like, "Well, technically, yeah. that's accurate." Technically, yeah. But, uh, that uh, that Breath of the Wild two trailer both revealed. A little and nothing at the same time. It's yeah. Uh, well, 
Yeah, the Smash reveal was wonderful as always, but oh, I yeah. think that's because Masa, uh, Sakurai has a, a warped sense of humor. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Kazi is just throwing all these different characters in a vault. You know? That Kirby was great. just floats back up. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, uh, I, would, that... I would say the three things I was kind of excited about from this, like mm-hmm. really excited, would have been uh uh Metroid. Mm. Dread. Uh yep. uh what's the character's name for Smash Bros? Oh, uh is it Kazi or Kazuma? Kazi. Kaz- Kazuma. Yeah. Yeah. And uh Shin Megami Tensei five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where uh, mine got cut out. Uh, it is really nice, though, to see Advance Wars coming back. Oh, yeah, okay, Advance Wars, yeah. No, that yeah. one. Let's, I, I, can I have that now? <laughs> yeah. No, there was some good stuff. It just, there was no, like, blockbuster announcement, I would say, is uh, no. was my issue with that. It, it's just there was a lot of stuff we knew was coming. And I, I know so many people are now are going to be griping on the internet. You know, there was no Switch Pro, and I'm like, but no one ever said there was one coming. <laughs> we we just think it's like probably the most natural thing they should do. Yeah. Because I mean, they've done it with almost every handheld they've done since the original Game Boy. But even then, the original Game Boy took how many years to get uh, like an updated edition? Yeah, I I bet you they were planning on it for this year, but uh, the sh- shortages of transistors. Oh uh, yeah, that's probably a good point. Good. And that point. was less than forty five minutes because it's only eleven forty two now. Yeah. Well, I had read it was forty minutes, so. Ah. Uh, Yep, well, yep. Nintendo. I'll keep playing Monster Hunter Rise, but yep, yep. I'm I'm giving you a finger clap right now. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let me ask you, Dave, before we sign off here, what has been your most excited, or the thing you're most excited about that's been revealed at E3 this year? Uh, you know, um. And, and again, it's because I'm older and, and more jaded. I don't get as excited as how I particularly used to be. Uh, I, I am excited for Metroid Dread, though, because I thought that project was dead in the water. I thought that was not going to happen. It was just, you know, a rumor that had been around. And even then, the rumor had, like, stopped gaining momentum how many years ago? Right. So... It's not, and, it, and it's nice that they're also using it as like Metroid Five because Metroid Fusion, even in that title in the title screen, had uh, you know it said Metroid Four, Metroid Fusion, and they're doing the same here with this. So you know that's kind of nice though that they're giving it like this this numbered entry, so you know, oh hey, this is after uh, Metroid Fusion, and when, oh, that also explains why the suit is different. And it just seems also like each time they introduce a new suit for Samus that isn't like built off of the classic suit, Mm -hmm. it takes me a while to get used to it. So for like the fusion suit, it took me a while. But then, you know, by the time the game was out and I was playing it and enjoying it, I was like, okay, this is this is fine. But, you know, I love to see her in her classic orange personally. Yeah. Yeah. And I will bet you that'll be a un- unlockable skin or something. Yeah, and then uh, also, like, in Fusion, that was, like, the super ultimate, you know, hyper beam version that you got. It turned the suit orange, and it looked similar to the original. Right, right. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited, again, uh, as I said, for a new uh, Namco character, and now... I, I gotta wonder what the the mass speculation is going to be for the final character. Um, I would think that they would probably close with another uh, Nintendo character, but they didn't really for uh, for Smash Four at all. Though they uh, had Bayonetta as the last one, so who knows what's going to be? You know, I just right. I knew Namco needed another character, and I'm glad to see it happen. So I'm happy. With that, I know some people are probably frothing at the mouth 
that it's not Crash or, you know, that it's not Master Chief or just, you know, you never know. Uh, yeah. And there's one character left, right? Mm hmm. With, and so far, there's been some speculation that there may be a third, like, final mm. kind of one. And maybe it's one of those deals where it's like, you know, Piranha Plant and Mewtwo, where if you, you know, bought the season pass one and two, you get them for free. Um, but that's just been a rumor, and it's based off of how the DLC is kind of loaded into um, like the web page. Cause you know, they have the character slot screens. Well, uh, all of it, the way they're labeled, uh, you know, it, it's basically like, you know, number, 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 number. And for the web page numbering and, but they've noticed though, that like someone got into the code of the page, but there is, numbers for three more characters for dlc as opposed to uh just the two so you know with that i mean who knows maybe it was speculation they might do more but covid hit who knows i mean we we don't know anything really until they say something official correct but I could see them doing that, though, just one last final one as kind of a thank you, like they did with, you know, if you pre if you got Smash Wii U and Smash 3DS, you got Mewtwo for free. So right. I, I could see them doing, hey, you bought Season Pass 1, you bought Season Pass 2, you get... And, and they did something similar for Piranha Plant, right? If you had gotten it within, like, the first, what, three months or, or a month, and you would got him for, or her it mm -hmm. for free <laughs> it's a plant <laughs> they yeah them. they them the plant <laughs> so and that's the one i could see actually being like waluigi <laughs> quit chasing the ghost it ain't gonna happen uh, no but I, I just i think sakurai is that much of a troll to do that <laughs> Uh, that would be funny, though. <laughs> In my opinion. <laughs> uh, I I will bet you it's going to be a Nintendo character for the last one. I yeah, me too. Um, although I will say this, uh, they have now introduced a lot of fighting game characters into the series. Well, I know Sakurai himself is a huge fighting game fan, so. Right. That's where some of it is coming from. So part of me is wondering if his next game won't be with Nintendo, but it will be a, a cross fighting game mashup, kind of like Capcom versus SNK. Could you imagine if Sakurai made a Capcom versus SNK versus Tekken? <laughs> what I think the man should do, though, more than anything, is take a vacation. Oh, like that too. A year long one, because he certainly earned it. Yeah, he's he's made Nintendo some money. And also, I mean, like the man has like been hospitalized for working himself to exhaustion. So, yeah, chill out, dude. Uh, I, you, I know that you're considered a younger game designer, but even by then, I I don't think it's by much anymore, dude. <laughs> it's not by much, and. The burnout is real in the industry, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. You and your missus go to the Bahamas and be treated like royalty for a year. <laughs> right. So, yeah, but I think it'll be a Nintendo character. Um, I don't know who it would be, though, because they've got a lot of their old standbys on the cast already. And some of their new characters that, you know, people are kind of crying for. Well, I would say Pyra and Mithra is kind of a representative of that. Yeah. So <laughs> unless they're going to put like Box Boy in it or something. <laughs> uh, Wait, Box Boy actually has a name. It's a, isn't it QB or QBB? QBBY, however you pronounce that. <laughs> I don't know. They could also do Chibi Robo. 
Oh, they're never doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Chibi Robo is the redheaded stepchild of Nintendo. And uh, Scott the Waz will point that out as many times as possible. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm still going to hope that one day, one day, I'll get a new F-Zero. Or at least mm -hmm. GX re-released. Re mm-hmm. But if they do, I would like make it so that it has like all of the arcade game uh, oh, levels yeah, and everything unlocked from the beginning. You know, yeah, just merge those two together. That would be pretty cool. And, and tell you what, just remake all the F Zero X tracks too. Just put mm -hmm. them all together. Just all together. Mm -hmm. They're doing it for Super Monkey Ball. You can do it for F Zero. <laughs> That's true. They are doing it for Super Monkey Ball of all things. <laughs> yeah. But I'm afraid I have to get back to work and continue to be disappointed. But until next time, mm -hmm. be safe, be kind, bottoms up.